Hey guys, Mark at 65TurboGarage.com here. And as uh, a lot of you know, parts for our old trucks are getting harder and harder to find. Thank goodness uh, John at Quadstar, Leroy at Leroy Diesel, a few other guys who are working hard to keep our trucks on the road and keep parts and not, not just replacement parts, but performance parts, improved parts. Uh, so thank goodness for them. Um, however, there are still a few things that are not available. And one of those is right here in this box. And this company, Auto Parts Direct to You or APDTUI, uh, provide a multitude of different pieces and parts for vehicles. And uh, they had this one available for quite a while, then it went off the market. And right about that time, there were several people who needed one, so that was kind of a bummer. But then it came right back on the market, and I thought, I'm going to grab one of these real quick, just so that we can take a look at them. And uh, it was, oh, I think 160 bucks, so that's not too bad uh, to me. So I ordered one, and it just got shipped, and I wanted to open it up here with you guys. A, a, a PDTY is not known for very good quality. A lot of their reviews have been pretty terrible as far as the quality of their parts. So we are gonna see what we see. And uh, that gets answered right away. I'll give you a second, do you see what I see? Yeah. There we are. A lot of the reviews that I had read on this uh, company, this is exactly what they received, so broken in the mail. And a lot of people were bummed out about it. Um, I don't need this right off away. I bought it just to review it for you guys, to take a look at it for myself and also review it for you guys. So I will be returning this, but uh, if you do plan on getting one of these, make sure you've got some time to return it because it is pretty common. And again, if there were any more available, I wouldn't even be dealing with this and neither should you. But uh, as far as I know, this is the only one available on the market. That is the turbo side exhaust manifold. Um, so uh, I think that you will eventually, we will eventually be able to get one that's uh, in good shape. Uh, you just have to give it some time for the return. Overall, I'm looking at the casting. It looks pretty good. The, some of the reviews are saying that it's a very rough casting, but maybe they don't understand that this is pretty normal for a casting. I don't know. I can't speak of the wall thickness on this. I don't know what the stock one is. I don't have anything to compare it to, but uh, overall it looks pretty good. So next we're going to go ahead and get a, get this returned and we're going to get a new one coming and then we're going to put it on a motor and see how she fits. And here we are. All right, let's see what we got in here. Looks like one piece. I like it. I was able to, uh, I, don't ha I don't have a, a cross section of a stock piece um, or a broken one, stock one. So I but I was able to just kind of reach in and get an idea of the wall thickness. And uh, it actually looked fairly comparable. Um, so if there's any major difference, then um, it'll be just um, fractions of an inch maybe, which is possibly could be significant when it comes to the strength of casting. But um, when we saw the broken pieces of the, the leg over here on uh, the previous one, just the thickness surprised me. I expect it to be thicker, but the stock one doesn't seem to be much more. Um, and another thing on that other one, I got to looking at it again, and I'm looking at these here that are off center, but that doesn't mean anything. We need to make sure that they're clearanced here so everything fits on for installation. So that's all that really matters. It doesn't matter if it looks funky there. You're never going to see that. So. So anyway, there you go. By the way, this is the, the uh, let's turn it around proper. That's, that's the way it's installed on the engine. And this is the boss where you drill and tap this for your uh, thermocouple that uh, feeds the temp to your uh, exhaust gas temperature gauge. So it'll stick right in there and it'll get your exhaust gas temperatures. I can see where people would be a little bit upset about the casting. None of this matters to me. Um, this is just where they had they had actually taken it out of the. Uh, I, believe, I don't know. I, I assume it's sand cast, so take it out of the sand, and then they just cleaned it up a little bit. They just cleaned up to any major marks. So that's actually a plus in my book. Now, if they were to take extra time and make this pretty, one, it would be stupid because it would be completely useless, 
and two, it would probably um, cost more because they're spending more time on it. So these are only, it was 150 bucks. And then with tax and everything else, it turned out to be 160 bucks. So, but uh, I don't know, so far um, I'm pretty pleased with it. So next we'll go ahead and we'll uh, stick it on a motor and see how everything fits. Okay guys, let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can't get this thing on a motor and uh, check a fit. <clears throat> Dealing with this uh, raw cast steel, you get a lot of black stuff all over your hands. So if you care about your uh, dainty little digits, then you want to put some gloves on. Okay, let's see her. It's the easiest way without breaking stuff to get down in here. Shove her down in the hole. Of course, I always, always, always pull off the inner fender there. And I was doing some work on this thing, so I uh, went ahead and pulled the whole front piece. A lot of people think it's a little ridiculous, but it's so easy to pull the core support out. I've got an article on that, show you how easy it is. And it makes things so much simpler. Okay, that's roughly the way she goes. There are no exhaust uh, gaskets, believe it or not. So, and uh, I'm not gonna do it now because I'm just trial fitting this thing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep using my stock unit because it's still fine, but um, normally I use uh, anti-seize on all my bolts, especially these exhaust manifold bolts. Um, what am I doing? There we go. In the wrong hole. I hate it when that happens. Okay. An extra hand would be helpful here, but nobody likes me, so. Okay, there you go. Here's your first issue. Um, I saw this mentioned as well. See how this uh, casting here is that thick? And the stock bolt will not fit all the way in there, so. Um, the stock unit uses these short and long bolts. So you'll have to get all long bolts for this thing. Not a major deal, just kind of stupid, I think. I don't know if there's a, another a year, I don't think so, but if there's another year that you use all long bolts and they just decided to make it fit everything, that's, I guess I understand, but that's still pretty ridiculous. But anyway, see, how the long bolts will fit right in there. There we go. And again, we're just uh, trial fitting this thing, so go ahead and just get a couple in there. Okay, that one fits in there. Okay, that one fits, but the threads are need to be cleaned out. But as far as the alignment on the manifold, it fits. And same with that one. It's going in the threads. It's just threads just need to be cleaned out. And of course, that one's good. And let's see, you can't see this one, but I'll stick it in there and. In. Okay, so all those, those are aligned. <clears throat> so those all fit. Now let's go ahead and uh, let's fit that my, our, uh, turbo on there. Here we go. Get this big old 18 turbo. We gotta fit that. Uh, It's a Quadstar's oil drain tube we gotta fit down in there. There we go. Okay. So 
that fits on there pretty well too. Um, yeah, so as far as I can tell, this manifold will work. Mounting, turbo, um, everything seems to be lined up. It's got these extra bosses on there. I'm not sure what that's for, if later model gears or earlier model, I don't know. Mine's a 93, um, this is a 2000 block, late 99, 2000 block. Um, so I don't know if there's other trim or something on later models, but uh, anyway, as far as my use and pretty much every regular 6.5 diesel block, what they need, it works. So let's pop this turbo off of here and um, compare it to the uh, stock manifold. Okay, so here's our stock comparison. You can see what I mean by these bosses here. Um, I don't know what they would be used for. This being a 93, it doesn't have that. Um, so as far as them being drilled off center here, I can't tell you what the effect of that is gonna be. Um, you can see here what I mean, where this comes down at this plane, and these here are uh, beyond that plane, and these are up higher, so that's why, that's that extra length you need for the longer bolts. So again, just a minor deal, no big deal at all. Um, other than that, I don't know if these are significant at all, but at the very least, it's gonna add some strength, some thickness, and those are there. Um, funny how mine doesn't have the boss on here for, uh, well, actually, you know what it does. It's just under my rather crude uh, falling apart heat tape there, so. But it even has that. Um, so shoot, man, as far as I can see, this, uh, this 80 TPY has got, um, everything that you need. Let's see, let's see a minor difference here on the, uh, there's a little bit of a groove right here. And it's flat here, but I don't know that that's significant at all. Because your donut fits up inside there and it just seats on this surface. So I don't see why that groove would really be absolutely necessary. Um, I do feel the boss in there, so that's accurate. Again, when you're manhandling these, these things seem pretty, pretty sturdy and they're, they're heavy and whatnot, but cast is really not a very strong metal, so you don't want to bang them around too much. It's got a boss there. Yeah, everything else seems absolutely, uh, absolutely great. So there you go. You've got a uh, stock replacement for your turbo side exhaust manifold that a lot of you guys have been needing here for uh, lately. I've seen a lot of you guys needing one of these. So 160 bucks or so, depending on taxes or whatever you got, where you're at and your state you're at. Uh, seems like a pretty good deal to me. Um, this is just, well, visually this looks a little bit different here, but that's really hard to eyeball in a situation like this. This one looks up and then the stock one looks like it's down this way a little bit. So we really won't know that until we do a full install on this, but, but this is, Taller and quite possibly a slightly different angle. So there is a bit of a difference here. It's just ever so slightly longer on the neck. So it might be a quarter inch or so that it sticks up. There might be a bit of, an, of a drop here where it's tilted down on the stock one. So there might be just a slightly different orientation, but you've got a, a pretty flexible connection with the rubber boots and everything on your turbo. So I don't see that as significant at all as a change. But here you can see the difference in this, uh, the length of this thing and why you need the longer bolt. You only need the, the longer bolts on the first two. So you can just go get a, a good quality grade eight bolt.
and use that in there and then use the rest of them or the ones that need the studded bolts back there anyway so and the uh, casting in here is rough but look at the stock one it's pitted and everything so it's no big deal um, if you're looking for maximum flow I would just get a Dremel tool you can see how it's kind of warbled out right there but uh, in comparison, man, I, I don't see. Well, you can see where my turbo, the 18 turbo, is so much bigger in the throat than the stock one anyway. So this doesn't really matter. And, and the casting roughness and whatnot, I mean, I've got a whole wall there that I'm bypassing with air anyway. So air is coming up through here and it goes up to a bigger opening. Um, Anyway, so if you smooth out this casting, you're always going to get better, better flow, but I don't, I don't even know that it's really worth the trouble. So you have a perspective when the lens of the camera moves like here it looks like they're totally uneven but it's not necessarily true it's very hard to tell but this is taller Quite possibly a slightly different angle. Um, there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Uh, lets you know, gives you a little bit more confidence in, in uh, being able to buy one of these and uh, installing it in your truck and getting it back on the road if you need it. Um, I'll try to get an article written up uh, on 65 turbogaragecom but uh, definitely make sure to check into all the other articles on there and a lot of other information that could help you out and saving some money on working on these trucks. So uh, tune in for more information, 65TurboGarage.com. Take care of yourself. Take care of your truck. It'll take care of you. See ya.